Well, from unemployment to home foreclosures, these issues are contributing to the American struggle in these tough economic times. So, is there hope for the financial future of the United States? Artis Anastasia Churkina takes a look at how just two years ago today, the collapse of Lehman Brothers kicked off a global financial fallout. Take a look. Two years have passed, but is anyone wiser? The U.S. marks the second anniversary of the largest bankruptcy in its history. Investment bank Lehman Brothers, holding $600 billion in assets, fell to its knees, becoming the tipping point of the financial meltdown. The fact that it failed uh, actually really shook people's confidence in the financial system as a whole. In panic attack mode, the U.S. stock market went through the biggest points fall in one day since the attacks of 9-11. When the feds let Lehman go under, um, it was a sort of a crescendo and at the same time it triggered off a number of other events. You had ripples throughout the global financial system from here uh, to Europe. Most Americans went broke, but not hotshot CEOs. Apart from losing its dignity and credibility, Wall Street went unpunished. Other than Bernie Madoff, where do you see anyone getting a 150 year sentence? Few have learned any real lessons. Are they more frightened and worried? Yes. Are they more careful? Yes. Can they afford not to take risks again? No but yet continue living the high life. The enforcement division and the crooks ride up and down the same elevator today, and as we speak, they're all exiting to go to Cipriani's for Bellini's. For more than a year now, unemployment has remained at more than 9.5%. However, most analysts say that number is closer to 20. And it doesn't stop there. The housing crisis forced millions of Americans out on the streets. In New York alone, homelessness has gone up a staggering 50 percent. Lehman was a symptom of that, and in a way it accelerated the panic. But what really hurt America was the focus on housing and the subsequent collapse of that. Howard Sirota, who has been on Wall Street for more than 30 years, suing corporations for fraud, says what hurt the U.S. was much trickier. The difference between arithmetic and accounting is that in accounting, the result can be any number you want it to be. Lehman knew what it was doing, but more importantly, the United States government knew what Lehman was doing. Many are still skeptical that the worst is over. People are not buying because they're too insecure about the future. Therefore, there's no market for goods, so people are being laid off, which frightens them even further. You're in this classic downward spiral that puts the American economy in its worst condition that I have seen in my lifetime, and I've been around a long time. Two years after the failure, an inquiry into who is to blame is still ongoing, but few expect any real results anymore. Countless amounts of taxpayer cash have been poured into the system to bail out corporations throughout the crisis, but not Lehman Brothers. Considered by the U.S. government not too big to fail, it collapsed. So does this mean that a few hard-earned bucks were saved by the people, at least then? Well, not really, because helping the U.S. Treasury to overcome the losses from the failure continues to be American taxpayer money, traditionally footing the bill for all of the mistakes in the country. Anastasia Churkina, RT, New York.